Can we win using only fire type Pokemon? That is the question. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're using a monotype fire team. If you want to battle and stuff, go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And with that being said, let's jump into the team preview. Alright, this looks like a tough team to crack. We've got a Sylveon, Toxapex, a Garganachi, Skeledurge, Dracloak for some reason, and a Gengar. So it's a powerful looking team. Garganachi is going to be tough to break through. We do have the Covert Cloak on Skeletor, so we can go for the Torch Song shenanigans with that, um, which is great. I think they don't have a single ground type, so I'm going to go for the Rotom lead, and I think we'll just kind of go from there. Um, obviously, we're at a big disadvantage against the Garganachi because we're off team of Fire types and the Toxapex as well, but I think we can pull through. Luckily, Sylveon's not going to do much because of its fairy typing not really affecting the fire type very well. Um, yeah, I think I think we're golden. And the battle begins. So, my opponent's going to lead off with whatever that is, which is the Toxapex, as we led off with old Toasty over here. Now, I'm looking at their team and I'm thinking, do we need our Choice Scarfed? If we don't, can I trick them? Let's go for a trick and find out. Trick comes through. We've already crippled the Toxapex, which is absolutely amazing, as they probably go for a Toxic here or a Surf. Um, but they're going to obtain the Choice Scarf, which cripples the Toxapex, and we get a Rost Berry, which is interesting. So they go for a Toxic Spikes. Absolutely fine by me. We have Heavy Duty Boots on two Pokemon, and we have Defog on our Talonflame, so it's not too big of a deal. Let's go for a Volt Switch real quick on the Toxapex. Get some nice damage off on them. and also Ooh, that was some nice damage. That was some nice damage. It's definitely physically defensive, which is good to know. Um, as now we go into something else to take on. Well, they've got Toxic Spikes, so we'll go into our Talonflame. No, we're going, we won't go into Talonflame. We'll go into our Volcarona to finish them off. I think Volcarona finishing them off is pretty good. Um, we've all got Heavy Duty Boots on to uh, Volcarona, so we don't need to worry about it too much. As the Toxic Spikes come through, there we go. Um, what can we do here? We need to take this thing out. It's probably going to switch out. Um into maybe the Skeledurge or something. I'm going to go straight for a Giga Drain anyway. I think Giga Drain's a solid move to go for. They do switch out. What are they going to go into though? That's the real question. What are they going to go into? What is that? Is that the Skeledurge? No, it's going in a Great Ball, so it can't be. They go into the Garganachi to take a Giga Drain. I'm sorry, buddy. That's not going to work out for you. That is not going to work out for you as I'm going to go straight for another Giga Drain and take this Garganachi out. So there we go. Down it goes. Absolutely amazing. Volcarona is a powerful mon, I've got to say. Taking out that Gargan actually in two hits. It was definitely a physically defensive one, wasn't it? In comes whatever that is, which is going to be the Gengar. Uh, Gengar is a tough one here. It'll definitely hurt us quite a lot. Fiery Dance doesn't KO. We don't really have a good switch in, though. So I'm going to go for the Fiery Dance anyway and just see what they do. We do have speed, which is good to note. Uh, they're not a max speed Gengar, I guess. They're a bulky Gengar by the looks of it. They took that really well. They took that incredibly well. As our Fiery Dance does get disabled, which is really unfortunate. They go for a Confused Ray. It's one of these sets, is it? One of these sets, eh? One of these sets. Interesting. So, let's go ahead and go for a Bug Buzz to take this thing out. Um, it's a Stab option. Can we break through Confusion, please? That'd be nice. That'd be nice if we did. They go for a Bug Buzz. There we go. It breaks through Confusion. Doesn't quite take the Gengar out um, as they go for a Hex now. I don't think Hex works with Confusion, does it? No, it doesn't doesn't work with confusion so they kind of blundered that there so let's go for a bug buzz again and take this thing out they go for a sucker punch i mean fair enough but can we break through the confusion can we break through the confusion bug buzz comes through takes out the gengar that's gonna be awesome so gengar goes down god we've got some weird sets this game we've got some really weird sets this game in comes whatever that is which is gonna be the toxic pex got its health back thanks to the uh Thanks to the old Regenerator ability. Let's break through Confusion and go for a Giga Drain. Let's go it. Let's do 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 it. We broke through Confusion. Go for a Giga Drain. Does a lot of health to the Toxapex. We're going to get some nice health back as well. Oh, barely anything, actually. That's bizarre. As they go for a Recover. So they are locked in. They are locked in. So we have free opportunity to go into our, um, our Talonflame here. So I'm going to go into Talonflame. We're going to Talonflame. We'll go for a Defog. Get rid of the Toxic Spikes because that's the last thing we need on our side of the field. So we'll go ahead and switch out into Talonflame. There we go. Our nice and shiny Talonflame Scarlet over here. So Scarlet's going to come in nice and shiny. Got to love it. Got to love it. As uh, they're actually going to withdraw the Talonflame. What are they going to go into though? What are they going to go into? 
whatever that is, which is going to be probably the Skeledurge. Yep, Skeledurge. It was in a regular Pokeball, so it kind of has to be the Skeledurge. Not really, but, you know, whatever. So I'm going to go for that Defog anyway. Um, get the, rid of those nice and powerful Toxic Spikes and lower the evasiveness of the Skeledurge so we can hit it with um, a stronger move later on down the line. As they go for a Sing and they're going to miss. So that's unfortunate for them. Um, but knowing they're going to go for a Sing, I'm probably better off staying in, right? And letting Talonflame go to sleep. Because I don't think I need Priority Brave Bird for anything. Let's go for Brave Bird and get some damage off on this thing. There we go. As they probably go for another Sing this turn. Does half, which is great. Talonflame's got some power behind it. As they go for the Sing, and this time they do affect us. So, that's unfortunate that they affect us with a Sing. But at the same time, this Skeledurge isn't really doing much against my team anyway, being a Fire type. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to go into... I'm going to go into my... Skeledurge of my own. I'm going to go into my own Skeledurge right now. And the reason I'm doing that is because they're, they're probably going to go for a Hex, which is going to do a decent chunk of damage to my Skeledurge. But... I just want to free switch in and... Uh, oh, they go for another Sing! Oh, the Breaking Sleep Claws! I mean, I'm, I'm not playing by Smogon rules, obviously, because I'm, I'm battling a Randomer. So you can't expect them to follow any sort of rule sets, which they aren't. Um, gonna go for a Hex this turn. Um, they go for a Bite? They go for a Bite of all things? We're fast asleep, unfortunately, but what can you do about that? I'm sure we'll wake up one of these turns. Um, I'm sure we'll wake up one of these turns, that's for sure. They go for a Torch Song? So they've got, they've, got, they've got moves that actually have some power behind them. That's good to know. They're gonna get a Special Attack Raise, of course. As we are still fast asleep, unfortunately. So that is unfortunate. They do outspeed us as well, which means they have actually EV trained their, their Skeledurge, which is pretty cool. And Torch Song comes through again. It's not going to do much damage because the special attack boost doesn't mean anything to an unaware Skeledurge. Um, as we are still fast asleep. So that's unfortunate. What can you do about that, though? What can you do? I thought they would have Hex on that uh, set. But, you know, it's whatever. So they go for another Torch Song. They're at plus three special attack now. Um, it's doing a lot of damage to us. It gets the critical hit as well, which is really unfortunate. Um, as we are going to wake up this turn. There we go. And we can go for a Hex real quick. And uh, hopefully take out the Skeledurge as we do. So Skeledurge goes down. There we go. Nicely done. Nicely done. Are they going to go Dracloak here? Or are they going to go into the um, the old Toxapex? I wonder. In comes whatever that is, which is going to be the Dracloak. So Dracloak comes in. I'll just use the Dracloak not, not too long ago, actually. Um, I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wish just in case it's physical. They are physical. Phantom Force comes through. So the physical tacky one, um, that's definitely going to take out our Skeledurge. That's for sure. I don't really have a good switch into it. So I'm going to just let our Skeledurge go down. I'm going for a Hex. Um, there we go. Skeledurge goes down. So they actually took out one of my Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Um, fighting randomers is always entertaining because they just they just bring such random stuff. <laughs> it's quite hilarious, quite funny. Um, anyway, let's go into our Kapow over here. Our old Kapow. And what we're going to do now is we're going to start setting up Calm Minds on this thing. So let's go for a Calm Mind first. They probably go for a Phantom Force again, so we can probably expect them to disappear here. They go for a Dragon Dance. Okay, that is bad. That is bad. So Dragon Dance Dracloak is actually going to make a comeback right now. As we go for a Calm Mind. It's going to boost our um, special attack and special defense. There we go. So we're both setting up real quick. Um, what do we do here? What do we do here? Let's go uh, Let's go for a Stored Power. Uh, no. Let's go for a Stored Power. They go for a Phantom Force. Okay, there we go. So Phantom Force comes through for them. Which means the next turn, it all depends on whether or not Armor Rouge can live a Phantom Force at plus one from a Dracloak. And we go for a stored power because it's going to activate our weakness policy. If, if we live, it's going to activate our weakness policy. We live, we live. Which is going to pop our weakness policy. There we go. Weakness policy comes through. It's going to sharply boost our attack and special attack, which is great. As we go for a stored power. And down goes the drag cloak. Perfect. So Armor Rouge is coming through for us right now. Armor Rouge is coming through for us right now. They have a Toxpex and a Sylveon left. Let's see if they can both withstand the power of stored power. In comes whatever that is. It's going to be the Toxpex. Um, I don't think Toxpex can live a stored power, to be honest with you. I really don't. They go for a Baneful Bunker for some reason. They know they're locked in, right? They know they're locked in. So I'd go for an attacking move of some kind if, if I was them, but they're just kind of trying to stall us out, I guess. So it's, <laughs> it's fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let's go for a stored power again. 
They go for another Baneful Bunker. It's obviously going to fail because it usually fails on the second attempt. We go for a Sword Power. It's going to destroy Toxapex's life. And down it goes. So they've got Sylveon left, which could potentially live a Sword Power. Because it is quite specially bulky. So let's see if he can live or not and go for a Shadow Ball to take us out. Let's see if they can live or not. So let's go ahead and go for the Sword Power. There we go. Sword Power comes through. Down goes the Sylveon, and that's going to be the game. So that was a pretty good one, and we managed to win with only Fire-type Pokemon, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it was a really random game. They had some really random sets, but, you know, it's whatever. It's all it's all good fun, I guess, so. So anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.